Welcome back. Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1. Back for another part here. It's been a little while. Advising is winding down, so... Um, and spring break has passed, so once again, in the thick of it. But uh, I got a little bit of time this morning. I'll certainly dedicate to a little bit of uh, Sherlock Holmes here. Whew, adjust my volume a little bit. Now, as I recall... I believe we were on cleanup here, trying to get... God, what were we doing? All right, the Muse from Abroad. I think that's the one that we just picked up with the quote-unquote sailor, the artist character that came at the um, behest of... I think it was Vogel was his name? The artist we met towards the beginning. I think a mother's love is once again stalled. Um, yeah, I don't see any, the quest is still active, the clues, however, doesn't look like we have any avenues of approach, because we probably need to pick up more furniture. Um, let's see, I think last time we were going to do some of these Cordona stories, knock out some of these side quests. Um, there's the silver hand treasure, there's the bird that was missing, which we had a lead on. Yeah, Lestrade Avenue. And we've got some of these Child of Cordona stories. This is a newspaper research. Shipwreck. Well, shipwreck could be cool. Um, let's track the birds. The lost canary, rather. People say that the Flowers of Good Public House is the seat of local legend telling it's near the alley at the northern part of Lestrade Road. And that's Miner's End. And here's Lestrade Road, the northern end. That's what it said, right? Yeah, the northern part. <clears throat> okay. Well, Estrade Road kind of seems to terminate at some point around here. So, I'm going to guess here. This looks like a alley. Probably what we're looking for. Closest fast travel point. Cannot get to the market. Really? Oh, this is slightly closer. So, let's go there. Okay, and uh, this direction. Looking for the flowers of good. Shut up. You shut up. NPCs actually talking. They change. Shouting, shut up. Um, I realized my grandma, oh. God bless her, had known the man who had doomed us all. Right. What happened to the canary and why? Um, probably not that. Maybe that. No. Yeah. So no. Stole the canary, poverty and miners, and lost his family thrown into the sea. Um. We heard about a man who lost his family after an accident near the mines. He couldn't accept what happened to his loved one, so he, drowning in grief, stole the canary, cast it in the sea, and left the island. Some say that he committed suicide shortly thereafter. Safety and prosperity have both been strangers to miners and ever since. The thief died in grief. A poetic story for such an unpoetic place. Safety is gone, and tears take the rest. That's it. Just case complete. I can't... I mean, it's a giant silver canary. It's not like it was washed out to sea. I, I suppose it would be buried, probably, by the tides, but still. But that's it. Okay. Um, hold on a sec. I have to turn off my email notifications or it's going to be dinging throughout the entire video. All right, so. That's it, huh? 
seems so underwhelming. I mean, I know they said that after all this time it would be nigh impossible to solve, but still. I can't actually even go in the tavern. You say I was spiffing, Shirley. I'm gonna... You should have... Uh, you should have... Mm, nope. Nope. Wake me up tomorrow. Mm. That's disappointing. Okay. Um, let's try the silver hand uh, treasure hunt then. A hand with treasure, a quest so sweet. Stand where Eurus Road and Crooked Street meet. A few steps toward the mosque, left at the first stairs, and find the courtyard Wishing Well shares. Near Street and Crooked Street. We did all that just so John could have a note. Okay. All right. I'm not. It didn't mention any uh, district, so we're going to have to just kind of keep our eyes open here. I believe that the. Uh, I believe that the clue was picked up here in Old City, so I guess that's where we'll start. Bazaar, Madras, Gazelle, Cardam Vizier, nope. Bakery, Bazaar, no, no. Uh, nope, don't see it there. So it doesn't seem to be in Old Town. Let's try Silverton, Range... Nope. Cobblepot, Nelson, Musgrave, no. Don't see it there. Gladstone, Strahd, Soot, Cooper, no. Okay. Doge, Arbor. Casino, Whittier, Nanza, Israeli, Redbeard. Uh, okay, I don't see either of those streets. Unless they're short streets, and I just glossed over them. Echo, Sesame... All right, unless they're not literally street names. As in, you know, I'm looking for a Crooked Street. I'm looking for a Eurus Street, which if I remember the mythology from the archaeologist quest, um, that would be the lesser god of the east. Hmm. That would be... I guess possible. But I'm discounting it for now because that would be... patently unfair. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see either of those street names. I think I am therefore forced to accept the fact that they're not literally street names. But that makes finding them so much more difficult. Oh, unless, of course, they're in these areas of the city that I haven't explored yet. Um, I've been here, but it's not on the map. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess it's an old city because that's where the first clue was found. And I'm going to fast travel to this point and we'll explore south and pick up this coin while we're in the area. I want to do this. All right. Uh, we're actually going to go south. We're going we're to go south and we're going to explore some of these streets. Where is this taking this? What? Oh, I'm playing with it. It's okay. 
Um, there's a clothing trader, but I'm saving my money for the um, furniture. How does one... Oh my god, there's only one way into this southern part of the city, and that's through Rickshaw Road. That's unfortunate. What the? A fresh newspaper? Oh, let me see. Elephant adopted again. I wish you a pleasant reading. Really rocking out there. Okay. Blashar Caravansar. So ready? So ready? There's our clue. I see you. The East is a delicate matter, Sherlock. It took me some time to work out the old city people as they are not especially welcoming towards outsiders. Take, for example, the House of Ramir. They lost their superiority to the House of the Eagle, who adopted adapted to the British rule. And they still refuse to change. It's such a shame they make the best coffee in the whole of the Mediterranean. I would frequently pick my morning brew from the coffee shop requested by Ramir workers, frequented by Ramir workers, and visit a street nearby that has a direct view upon the big tower. I'd walk it slowly, enjoying the quiet bustle of a waking city. A little further, in the front of a large wooden gate that blocks the road, I'd turn left into the archway, through it, there is a yard where I'd sit under the th big tree enjoying my coffee and listening to the covert conversations from the balcony above. You can find your reward in the roots of that tree. <clears throat> okay, so we need to find a coffee shop frequented by Romeo workers, which means I probably need to adopt a disguise. What do you want, John? Elephant adopted again, yes. Okay. Uh, we are here. Pin, wardrobe, this, this. Does this matter? It does not. Any of these matter? They do not. Any of these? No. Okay. Um, alright. So, let's ask... Can we talk to the guy while he's rocking out? No. That's fine. I wouldn't want to interrupt him anyway. Ah, here we go. Hey, how about you? Can I ask you a question? I'm sorry, that's not something I know. Do you know anything about this? I don't understand you, mister. Oh, I am bored. Oh, shut the Call me when you find the answer. May I ask for your assistance? It's... Brother, you're fortunate I know something about this. Okay. Coffee shop used to be on Bazaar Road between Go... Okay, that's where I am, and Mom... It's so nice to have a sidekick that's just constantly just shitting all over you when you make a mistake or don't immediately know something or something like that. It's, it's very conducive to a good working relationship. What do you got back here, boys? Excuse me, just one question. Do I look like a fellow who has all the answers? No. <laughs> I think a fellow who doesn't have any fucking answers. What does that mean? He's an NPC, who cares? Um... Okay. I'm just, man, I'm just exploring the streets a little bit so I can get these roads on the map. Because I feel like Crooked Street or your street might be down here. Does this go anywhere? At least not yet. Yeah. Got a flat, huh? A flat in the time before flats. Oh. Oh, the oh, the well. Oh, I just happened upon the answer to the first uh what should we call it? Uh yeah. A pin. Pin that. Uh find the courtyard of the uh the ocean wall chairs. Okay. Yeah, I just happened to uh, come across here. Oh, 
Oh boy, what do we got? You're almost there, let's not postpone. You're seeking an ark that's made of stone. Head east from the old ruins, my friend. It guards the ancient... Um, ancient centillion. Head east from the old ruins. There are two ruins that I'm So the treasure of. is real, but... Tell me, John, how did you even guess there would be something on top of the monument? Didn't I ever tell you about my psychic abilities? I should have. I even know where we ought to go next. Okay, so where? What else do you need on a hot day like this? Okay. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> so you know where to go next. Let's do... Um, there's two ruins that we are aware of currently. There's the dig site over yonder. Um, and then there's all the way on the other side of the map, the ruins that uh, was the site of the goat sacrifice. Oh, Willie. But it's said to go east, yeah? Um, head east from the old ruins. Hmm. There's plenty of room to go east for both. I'm gonna guess it's still gonna be in the urban area though, rather than way out there. No particular reason for believing that. Uh, just assuming uh, in the evidence. All right. Well, let's let's get the get the coin since we're here. Um, it used to be on Bizarre Road between the place and the other place. So here's place. Other place must be here. Let's head that way and confirm, and that means that our coffee shop is somewhere between these locations, if correct. Looking for it said it used to be. Yes, used to be. Does it mean it still is? It probably means it's not, but this is Bizarre Road and this is between those two locations. What clue did he give us about? coffee shop um, go for to go to the coffee shop and visit a street nearby that has a direct view upon the big tower okay. clothing shop um, barber and trade all right here's the start of our journey so, street could be this one, but probably not. It's in a big tower. Most likely the street in question is going to be this one in the middle. Yes, there's the big tower. There we go. Um... And walk it slowly, enjoying the quiet bustle of waking a little further in front of a large wooden gate that blocks the road. I turn left in the archway. Large wooden gate. Yeah, there's a wooden gate. But there's not going to be a wooden No, there's no lift here. I also wouldn't say that that's a large wooden gate. Oh, there's a large wooden gate. Turn left to the archway. Yeah. Um, there is a yard where I'd sit underneath the big tree. And there's a big tree over there. And there it is. An ancient silver grosso. It was first introduced under Doge Enrico Dandolo, and quickly became a dominant coin of Mediterranean commerce. Mycroft returned with this coin from Venice. It was a long trip, but I don't remember any stories. Mycroft never talked much about any of his trips. 
Uh, job done. Got the coin. All right. Um, now, now I guess we can try and find the next treasure riddle. Um, east of the ancient ruins, I'm just going to guess um, that it's over here. And it's these old ruins. So east is over here. I have no reason for believing that it's in this location. Just guessing. Um, but I'm guessing at number one, making an assumption that it's in the city itself, not outside of it at the other looked like Greek or Roman ruins. I guess they'd be Roman ruins given the what we know of the history of Cordona. Um, and that it's going to be kind of tucked away somewhere. Oh, Clothing trader we didn't discover before. There's our hand statue. Uh, I'm going to guess. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make another assumption here. This guy was a pirate and is like a hero, like a Robin Hood character. His statue's here in, in the old city. I'm going to guess that all the clues are going to be in Old City. Because Old City implies it's the original settlements here on the island, and we have a Roman fort over here. Yeah, that's my, that's my assumption. <clears throat> oh, our second bandit there. Of course, I want to do more combat in this game. Like, I want a hole in the head. Um, Alright, so here's our pin. Uh, what else are we looking for? Seeking an arc that's made of stone. Um, is it possible that we're actually headed out of the city? Like, it's supposed to be over here? Like, outside the wall, I mean? Also, how the hell am I going to... Does it have to be... Oh, this is the dig site. I thought this was the dig site. It's this. What the hell is this, then? Um. Shit, well, then in that case, maybe it is the other ruins, because there's not really a whole lot of east out here, huh? Um... Yeah, maybe we are talking about the other ruins. Maybe we're talking about over here. Um, it's no longer on the map. Or what's this? What's this? Yeah, it referred to this as ruins before, but I don't really see it. Um, I guess let's hop over there at least and take a quick look. See if we see an arc of stone didn't notice before. It's a tree. This is, what is this? A ramshackle? No idea. Nothing appeared, so it must not be important, at least not yet. I mean, those are arcs of stone, but that's the aqueduct. Or viaduct. So we lost our elephant before. Um, there's Stone Ark Goliath. Is that where the elephant's living now? Oh yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy.
probably much happier out here, huh? I'd hope so. Alright, here's what it referred to as the old ruins before. Luckily, Lily is no longer anywhere to be found. Alright, I don't think that I have enough information to continue this, at least just yet. Maybe we'll uncover something in our travels. Um, okay, that's the furniture one, in for penny. Treasure. I mean, we could do some more of these, I guess. Not super keen on it, but we could. Um, lion monuments. There is a clock tower. We've got some columns. I don't know where that is. Um, this I thought we got. No, this is the one we got. Um, this looks like the area where we got one of the coin challenges. There was the gas lamps that were being lit for the police patrols. This looks like that. So that would be down around about this way, somewhere in, in here. Um, we are looking for um, not this, though this was one of them. It's going to be, it says near up here, so down there. Potentially. It's not that one exactly. I do reckon it's down here somewhere. I don't think there's any piers up here. Certainly not the other one. Just gonna take a quick peek this way. We stumbled on the clue just like I hoped we would, so. Um, where does that branch off? Oh, you're going the wrong way. I should off them because you didn't. Say this looks familiar. It looks a lot like our the area near our house, and that's because it is. Okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, sorry, kid. Oh, sorry, Fop. I went too far again. What the? F is it this? This way? Through here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... Yes, that, that actually does make sense. I just assumed it didn't. Alright. Uh, then in that case, what again is that clue? Pin. Uh, head east from the old ruins, my friend. For a, an arc of stone. Uh, there is a stone arc. What? Oh, I kind of want to check out the ruins, though. Oh. Interesting. Fire. I'm sure we're going to return here for some reason later. It would be 
unusual to put this much work into a special area and never call back to it. This isn't Red Dead Redemption 2, after all. Or, to a lesser extent, GTA, I guess. Um, okay. Unusual architecture. This is meant to be Roman, right? The uh, history of Cordona started in the ancient times with uh, the arrival of Romans, Roman settlers. If I remember correctly. Number one, strange ar architecture to build it this close to the water. It's an odd choice. Hidden inside this dish here. It's gorge. It's unusual too. Yeah, the columns aren't right either. It's hard to tell how much of this is meant to be intentional and how much of it is just, you know, they took a swing at the design and missed a couple of details. It's, it's hard to tell. All right, east to the stone arch. That's where we're going. Shipwreck. Brought it down to the ribs. Stash. It's already pinned. Um. There it is. Movable. Well, I mean, anything's movable if you're strong enough. The last riddle. Oh, there's only three. With old ruins beneath its feet, find a tree that treasures keep. You may find only one small detail, but that doesn't mean that you have failed. Old ruins beneath its feet. Find a tree that treasures keep. I always admire the way you notice such details. In such moments, I often recall Mother's voice teaching us of the importance of the smaller details. Is that literally the, the tree that we passed before? Oh. Uh, even the most chaotic miracle becomes sequential when you take a closer look. I remember. Are you guys on a date? It's a good spot for one. Not super private, though. Just about anybody could wander by and ruin the date. You know, members of the general public. Or private investigators slash police consultants. Unfortunately, the opportunity for shenanigans is pretty low in this game. Okay. Is it literally this tree here? That would be something disappointment. This is the old ruins, right? Yeah, this is literally labeled old ruins. Um, it says old ruins beneath its feet, so I think we're looking for one that's literally in the ruins, and there isn't one, so I'm wondering if this is indeed the ruins that's meant to Reference. Um, apparently not. It seems a little bit unfair to reference old ruins and not have it be the place that's literally labeled as old ruins. Um, I do realize that in the clue, Old Ruins is not capitalized, so that might be a clue that it's not the same Old Ruins, but just a Old Ruin, 
That makes it somewhat unfair because there's something labeled literally old ruins and then also if it's any old ruins there's so many places in the city that that could reference. The place is literally built on old ruins. So I guess what I'm saying is um, maybe we should get our thinking caps on here. Old ruins is not capitalized. Find a treasure, a tree that treasures keep. Um, find a tree that treasures keep. Is that supposed to reference something in particular? Have we seen a tree that has, I don't know, like stuff hanging on it or something? No, wait. A tree that treasures keep. Not a tree that keeps treasure. So a tree that is kept by treasure. Um, you may only find one small detail. Old ruins beneath its feet. Is it that big tree up there? The old ruins are beneath it. I guess it could be that smaller tree. Can I actually reach this smaller tree up here? I cannot. Can I reach that one though? Because this isn't this is a treasure that was buried apparently wait, am I getting the story wrong? This was a treasure that was buried by the pirate, right? Which means that it would have had to be a tree that existed. Kareem with the silver hand. John, do you have anything to say about this? No? I'm going to assume that Kareem with the silver hand was... Is that supposed to be... It's a Mediterranean pirate, not a Caribbean pirate. So not the Aegis Sail prior to that. Um, it would have had to be a tree that's around that time. Which would mean this tree. But I can't get up there or that tree. A big one. A big old tree. One that I can actually reach. And the ruins would have existed back then, so the ruins would be beneath the tree, beneath its feet. Yes, I can get it. Oh, we got it. It's not the tree I thought it was, but it's in the place I was expecting to find it. What the fuck? It's a magnifying Wait, what? glass. Is this Mother's magnifying glass? How did it end up here? What happened? Sherry, you really need to learn to let miracles happen. The whole world is one big, unresolved, chaotic miracle. No, it's not, John. But they will become sequential if you take a closer look. I do remember what Mother told us, but that explains nothing. Just let things happen, all right? No. Besides, this little miracle will look perfect in our manner, don't you think? I'm guessing it means that Mycroft found it first. The only thing that makes sense. Okay, another underwhelming side quest. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, f great. We got a thing, I guess, for the for the house. Maybe that'll trigger a memory, but still. Um. Uh, could it have been us and we simply forgot about it? I mean, I suppose. Um, John says I need to allow miracles. Uh, John. 
That's terrible advice, John. Just let miracles happen. Okay. Uh, two side quests done, but not much to show for it. Um, this says stage one. How many stages are there to this? Oh my god. Oh, that's right. We were we were actually looking for this. Um, I guess let's go back to that, yeah? Um, we're just going to hop over here, though. And... Is that... Is that it? It looks like it. Yeah, that's it. Two benches and a garbanzo. And there it is. The Islanders protested against the renovation of the Yacht Club as an unnecessary luxury. However, once Governor Sinclair presented a yachting tournament, the protesters reluctantly agreed that it was a necessary investment, just as the Romans, the people of Cordona, were hungry for entertainment to escape the daily burdens of ordinary life. Hail our governor. Ra, ra, go team. Another treasure located. Let's celebrate. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Clock tower, ruins, lions, don't know where it is. Um, carriage in a yard. The yard contains a statue. Um, Greco-Roman design. It doesn't seem to be like it would be something that's an old city. We also have a courtyard here. I see chandeliers. I see cobbles. Somewhere probably in Scaladio. Long Bridge. Uh, is that the location where the dude jumped? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember exactly where that was. Um, it wasn't Caesar's Bridge. Might be the Old City Bridge. Well, this is the longest bridge as well. So, I think it's this bridge. Um, and that's pretty near to the luxury furniture traders. So let's go there, and we'll head to the east. Treasure maps from the governor. Find eight. Let's go... Yeah, we'll go down here. That's fine. Okay, I'm going very far out of the way, but we have a fast travel point, so that's nice. Um, doesn't look like it's on this side. Oh my god. Bleeding shark here. Oh my god. What could possibly have caused that? Is that meant to be a bite of some kind? Doesn't look like a bite. It's meant to be decomposition. That's a very odd presentation. Um, oh, where is it down here? Uh, yep, there it is. It was in the very place marked on the treasure map. That's how treasure maps work, you fucking moron. Next. Um, oh, we were just there. Or, or were we? That looks a lot like the ship that we saw it was rotted to its ribs. But it doesn't look like... I don't remember these stairs being there. I don't see the arch. And I don't remember there being any... No, I don't think it's the same place. Um, tower, this looks, this looks like Old City. Near the park. Pin map. This was near a park. Uh, have a watchtower. Uh, no. This is not the place. 
Oh, yes it is. That's what I was thinking of. Um, up here? No, up there. around okay hold on get disoriented around the corner from the building with three windows not this one or is it trying to tell me you need to go up here doesn't seem right. No, this doesn't seem right. <sighs> um, oh, it's pointing to this area up here. The first, um, the, not the inset clue, the other clue says to go in here. Unquestionably where the arrow is pointing. It says go in here. And we're looking for around the corner from a Emma, is this second is this inset meant to be us looking through this archway? Because there's an archway in that inset. If so. Oh, it's right fucking here. Another treasure located. Let's celebrate. Shut up. All right. I th think. Ruins, clock tower. Is this supposed to be near the city hall? No. <clears throat> That's not the same clock tower. Guests of Cordona, the treasures await you. Collect them all and return for Oh, but is oh but there are lion statues here. Lamia Sphinx. Uh... Alright, so I wasn't crazy. There are lion statues here. But this is not the right courtyard. Guests of Cordona, the treasures await you. Collect them all and return for more. When I go to the uh, furniture shop while we're here in the area, pick up some stuff for the house. Move that one along. So I admit I'm taking a circuitous route to get there. And I'm looking for these goddamn lions. I'm guessing that there is another side entrance that's normally closed, as we see in the picture. Oh, are you okay, buddy? You alright? Help me, please. Nothing stands between me and helping a fellow citizen. 
Accept the absence of knowledge. Ask someone else. Alright, didn't mean to bother you. Oh. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the furniture shop. We're clearly not where we ought to be for this. And I feel like I just went in a big circle. I almost definitely went in a big circle. Yep, sure did. It occurs to me that the, the game might be quieter than it's actually supposed to be because I uh, turned off the music. It's Refresh possible. your interior. Pick what you like. It's possible the My goods will brighten ambience up your house. is part of the soundtrack. A uh, dressing table. Please Enjoy your purchase. Little money right now. Okay. Um, got anything else nearby? No. There's no more furniture to buy, apparently. Oh, yes, there is. The art trader has more for us. Okay, interesting. By which, I mean, not particularly interesting, I guess. Um, this is somewhere nearby. This is almost certainly also somewhere in Scaladio. I'm just not sure where. This, I don't know where it is. But I'm also not going to hop around all over the island going to places just randomly looking. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, John remembers we used to visit an old shipwreck in Northern Old City. Uh, miners and shore under Caesar's Bridge at the western end of the harbor. And then we have some research that we could do. All right, we're going to hop to the art trader and buy that stuff, and then we will go to... This is Caesar's Bridge, yeah? Yeah, and then we'll go finish that Cordona stories. Back to the art trader once again. Landscapes and pot... My goods will brighten up your house. Just like outside, but without all the murder. Enjoy your purchase. Okay. Uh, miners end shore underneath Caesar's Bridge at the western end of Harbor Avenue near the fishing huts. So... Here. There's the bridge. We need to get under the bridge. I know that we can get under the bridge from the other side. Because that's where we went for... In one of our previous investigations, I can't remember which, but nope, looks so like we can get down this way as well. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Dinosaur bow. Salty breeze, warm sand. Oh, I wish we spent more time It was time an early relaxing. morning. For some reason, we snuck out of the house and crossed the bridge into Miner's End. Hmm. We were always adventuring, Sherry. Focus on the bone. That's what's important here. Yes, I remember. It was huge, but wait. How did we find it? I think there was someone else. That kid who ended up getting beaten half to death? Nope, a dog. Well, of course, Toby, our furry partner in crime, John. How could I have forgotten? Whoa, it was quite a while ago. Hey, 
Do you remember how we met him? I remember bell sounds and sweat and the smell of incense. I think it was at the church in Western Miner's End. Let's find the place. Um, near the church, just west of Central Miner's End. Is that meant to be somewhere around here? Is this the church? What was that? Did I see something light up here? No. Ah, I mean, I saw fireflies. I meant is there. I thought I saw an icon that I could examine. Ask you a question? Oh. Please leave me alone. I don't trust you. Don't accidentally click. Miners and church. So that's where we are. Oh, no, that's where we're going. What are you doing? I'm telling you, Sherry, someone's been spying on us for at least half an hour. I've learned to trust my gut on such things. Okay. Good heavens. You heard how the priest was butchered. Oh, good God. Okay. Severed hand. Bloodied saw. Cold case. People are talking about a priest who was found dead with his hand severed. The only item of note was the police were able to find a saw lying next to the body. Despite an ongoing investigation, people are worried that the culprit will escape unpunished. Good God. Okay. Um, let's let's prioritize here. Okay, we need to find out what happened to this dog first. Okay. Church of Saint Jean. The morning sun was shining, and church bells called the town to mass. But we weren't here for a ceremony. We were running. From what? Of course. Mm -hmm. The dreaded Dudley. He was still incensed after the stolen clothes incident and wanted to teach us a lesson. I can almost see where we ran. Um, ah. There we go. One side, coming through, very important work. lost him for a moment and tried to hide. You pointed to the small courtyard and we ran in. Dirty yard. We hid behind crates full of fish. They were stamped as fresh, but I remember my stomach did not agree with that statement. Oh no, that smell. It almost made me want to face Dudley. But before that happened, there was a noise. The idiot had a brain the size of a peanut, but when it came to finding us across the island, his cunning was almost supernatural. Unlike us, he knew many kids on Cordona, and all were eager to get into his good favours. But this time, he met someone who wasn't scared of him. The dog. 
We heard a low growl first. Don't fuck with Toby. And a dismissive cry. A loud bark after that and a terrified scream a moment later. And when we looked up, we saw only a big angry dog with ripped breeches in its jaw. I was scared, but you wanted to get closer, Sherry, remember? He looked hungry, and I had a sandwich from home. He sniffed it cautiously and then accepted it and let me pet him. It was the first of many snacks. Ugh, oh, those dreaded ham and pickle sandwiches. Lucky for Toby, I'm more of a tuna guy. John, I am starting to recall something else. Close nearby, under the building with a huge water tower on top, we saw it from the church. Visible from the church, eh? Okay. Way, kid. Oh uh, no, that's not a water tower. That's cupola. Oh, there, it's right there. Please tell me that I was just sitting in the just the right spot for that. That the tree covered that before. Please tell me I'm not that blind. Okay, big square building. Water tower. All right. We heard rumors that this place was haunted, strange lights in the night, people disappearing. One night, we decided to investigate. Toby. He's with us, always happy to join on our escapades. He stopped when we neared the building and refused to go further, but we, I, was resolute. It was pitch black, so we had to light the lamp. The smell of oil and burned hair filled the night. And something moved in the shadows. It was a man. I remember a dirty shirt, horrifying smile, and a pair of manacles in his hand. We turned to run. Okay, this is taking a dark turn. We saw that we were cut off. This one had a rope in his hands. My heart sunk. <laughs> then I heard a growl. Toby jumped the slavers with all the fury his size contained. We got the hint and ran like the clappers. And I never saw our Toby again. Aww. We departed Cordona soon after that night, Sherry. Perhaps he was hiding or wandering. It was not unlike him to disappear for weeks on end. Yes, you may be right. I simply... I regret going to that place. I should have listened to Toby's warnings. And leave a haunted building unexplored? You know very well that is a mystery that would have nagged us forever. I know, and yet... No sense dwelling on ifs and maybes. We can choose to remember those times how we want. I'll draw a picture. You just pick the scene. And left the island... ...without your dog? I mean, I guess technically it wasn't your dog, but... ...good God. What, what, am, am I choosing my own reality here? 
scaring the bully, finding the bone, fighting the slavers. Oof. What? What am I meant to do here? Sorry, excuse me. It seems like it's kind of wrong what we're doing here, doesn't it? Like... Am I choosing what to remember and what not to? Um, okay. I guess let's remember. The moment when we found the bone, I want us to remember I playing guess. together. Good choice. I would have picked the same. Always loved dinosaurs. I will make a drawing. I want to know what happened to Toby. I don't care if it's impossible for him to still be alive. I want to know what happened to Toby. Okay. Three side quests, all of them disappointing. Okay, we're going to have to let it go. There's nothing we can do. Uh, all right, we have two things here that now require research. We've got the Saints and Sinners. This one seems like it would be at the police station. We have a child of Cordona that goes with the Chronicle, and we have really upset about this. <laughs> um, okay, we have to let it go. We don't. We don't have a choice. Um, I'm going to be pissed off about this for the rest of the game, by the way. Um, okay. Let's go to the Chronicle and do the research for the Child of uh, Cordona side quest, and then we'll go to the police station for the Saints and Sinners. Since they're just a hop, skip, and jump from each other. Um, this one... Mr. Holmes, I have something for you. Mr. Holmes, I see what you're up to. Mysterious stranger pursues betrothed woman. But please, let us keep things professional. I, really don't I have this in character. my possession an envelope containing details of a special assignment for you. Tell me, are you interested? I guess. I believe I am, but to be very clear, Miss Sirtle, my interest extends to the message and not the messenger. Hmm. So he claims he's not a gal sneaker, seducing women everywhere he goes. Perhaps the truth is even more scandalous. I hope you end up dead. Please and spare I get me to the investigate speculation. And return to the matter at hand. A gang of smugglers, the eels, have Cordona in their clammy grip. The British Empire can abide it no longer. Mycroft insists they be disbanded, but this organization only falls with the capture of their odious leader, Friedrich Panzer. And note well, I did say capture, not kill. Inside your envelope is a map marked with the eels' warehouses. But alas, we do not know in which Friedrich Panzer resides. Hmm. So even Mycroft has his limits. Indeed. You must be sure to identify the correct warehouse before entering. Because once one is compromised, the other's occupants will scatter. Here are all the files, and feel free to use the archive too. Again, do not enter the wrong location, nor see any harm done to Friedrich Panzer. Miss Sirtle, if you're quite done with the redundant instructions, I shall get to work. Well, that's perfect. Tortured hero lashes out after rejected romance. Tomorrow's edition will be a sensation. Why the fuck are you giving me missions like this? 
Why? Why? What am I looking at? John wrote an article ten years ago. Claims it was on the front page. Uh, ten years ago. It says front page. Answer right? No. People. Commoners. Journalists. Officials. Celebrities. John claims that an article he wrote was published in the local newspaper 10 years ago. Claims it was on the front page, but I should check other categories just in case. Okay. Definitely not an official or a celebrity or a journalist. something else here to infiltrate the eels you shall have to disguise yourself as one of the gang your safest bet would be a certain william hart known as ugly face bill according to our sources he has recently faked his death and gone into hiding you can find his obituary in the recent news from silverton William Hart died in a tragic accident in Silverton at the age of 29. A loving father and upstanding citizen, he leaves a wife and five children to mourn his passing. Okay, so now we know what he looks like. We can disguise ourselves. Capture. Okay. Okay. And wears lots of armor, okay. Top Hat Jones might know more than the common smugglers, but he's unlikely to talk to anyone who's not part of the gang. He can be found on the north side of the Finch Cannery in Silverton, so I need to get the disguise and then go talk to him. An informant can be found near warehouse number three. So the train man lost an eye in battle. The informer will respond to the code phrase, how much for the fish? <coughs> okay, so we got to do that, but we also got to be careful approaching that. Oh, God, I don't, I don't like any of these. What is with this, though? years ago. Commoners? It's got to be. One page. Okay, I've checked the other sections. Alright, we're gonna brute force it. What else am I gonna do? I, I, it, it, I don't think it's officials, but... Oh. There it is. 
Um, what was that? That was officials. Why would it be under officials? Many of you, dear readers, are familiar with our proud military force, how far and wide their victories, how safe we feel under their protection. What if I told you that here on Cordona, corruption festers within our distinguished Marines, that for years they have turned a blind eye to smugglers and slavers and got rich while others suffered. A decade-long investigation has uncovered the seemingly unthinkable truth, and after careful consideration of the facts to follow, no reasonable man could conclude otherwise. Let us start at the end by John in Hector Jacobs instead. The editor here is a quack, putting my gripping corruption investigation on the fourth page. We can't tolerate such disrespect, right, Sherlock? Mm, yes, yes, John. You know, I'm starting to remember. We wrote it somewhere in this building. Let's find where. Okay. It was a military parade that day. Everyone was there, so we had the office at our disposal for a while. Still, it's a miracle we weren't caught. An underappreciated masterpiece was born here. You recall anything else? Come on. Do the thing. Found a folder with approved stories. John, it wasn't the editor, it was us. We swapped the article on the fourth page with ours. Curious. Working on this machine felt right. We almost ran out of ink ribbon, but somehow, somehow, we knew it wouldn't inconvenience anyone. Okay. We had a suitcase. It was soggy and filled with notes and clippings. I remember it was important somehow. Is that all, my friend? John, no, wait. I'm missing something crucial. The suitcase, where did we get it from? Pissed out of the okay, fucking sure. water. Focus on it. What can you remember about it? No, it said it was soggy and it smelled of fish, so... It felt wet and... Slimy, as if it had lain in the water for some time. Yet the insides were surprisingly intact. Yes, right. And I remember the sound of horns like they use at the industrial sites. It must be somewhere on the Silverton coast. I can recall the smell of... of fish. It was so strong I could taste it. Ah, I think we were near one of those fish warehouses. Big ones. That comprises the entirety of my memories on the subject. So, we are looking for a fish warehouse on the coast. Stands right on the water's edge. It seems so, my friend. I am sure I will remember the place when I see it. Let's go. All right, we have a couple of business items that are taking us to Silverton near the fish warehouses then. Um... Which would be this, and it would be eel hunting. I'm going to need a disguise, though. I'm guessing this is the area I'm headed towards. Um, if I head outside, oops. I can uh, go here. I'm going to jump here. Across the bridge. Oh, here is the bridge where the guy jumped off. Splat. Well, maybe you 
should get out of the way. Take a look. Try it on. It'll be the finest clothes for the finest citizens. Okay. Yeah, I need... Uh, he had a scarred face. There's two kinds of scars here. Um, of course. Looks like he has uh, oh, zoom. Looks like he's got the burns. He's got some kind of open shirt thing with suspenders going on. And okay, good enough. Think it I'm over. Gonna... Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. I think we can manage. Um, so we'll get the burns. Or the scarred face, really. And he didn't seem to have any facial hair. Um <coughs> um and shirt thing. Um, I mean, not that he wore the same clothes every day, right? Um, I don't see any really that... Oh, there it is. No suspenders, but yeah. Okay. Um, and nothing else, huh? Might as well grab these. They're so cheap. And as are all these. <clears throat> Probably should be saving my money for the furniture, though, eh? Alright. <clears throat> oh, damn it. A perfect choice. We have a large assortment and pleasant pro Scarred face. No hat. Faces. Um, close enough, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the child of Cordona. We'll do this one first. Um, somewhere in Silverton near one of the fish warehouses that stood right at the water bank. Doesn't seem like any of those. It looks like it would be up here. And I don't really have a closer place. So I'll go here. And we'll just head north ish. There's that thrumming noise I remember from before. No, not that way. This way. <clears throat> Arsenal Street seems to be blocked off here. Can I go around? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm trying not to cough. But... And this is blocked off. Okay. So, what? All right. 
right? I, I can't get up. So I... Hmm. There's warehouse number three. Two, one. Okay, uh, I guess it must be the other... So, And this hidden coin is back. I've already found that one. one that was over here. It was right here. It's been found. Oh, okay. What? There's a bug with the coin thing. Um, Alright, I guess we'll move on and hope that we can find something somewhere else. Uh, Top Hat Jones, one of the eels of the Nope, uh, we're looking for this one. Near warehouse number three, ex-military, one eye. warehouse number three okay then i'm going to leave it here for now we will uh pick up uh, this uh, man on the inside here next time and continue on with the eel hunting investigation we're already at an hour and a half and i can tell this is already going to be a thing so we will save that one for next time take care have a nice day